started. I'm going to change this music up here. Because I listen to the same thing when I'm in here by myself every day. <laughs> You get to you get to pick like we pick our music like he'll turn on some weird stuff sometimes and I pick like the same thing every time because I'm boring with my music. Just a song like it won't mute the voice. Oh, that's a done deal. Cause I'm about to play some Metallica today. Let that one start. All right, everybody, we're going to get warming up. We got this recording. Happy hump day. We're just going to, I'm going to roll right through this with you. One minute of each exercise. We'll go five minutes. Um, first one is an alternating lateral squat. So you can just follow along with Stephanie live and we'll change. I'll show you each exercise as we get to it. So let's go ahead and get going. Get that nice wide stance. Stick your butt back and sit back on your heels. And we're just going to alternate sides. And as you go into this, if you want to sink down deep enough to where that trailing uh, foot starts to come up off the ground a little bit and you really sit down deep, you are welcome to. Let's get it going. Good morning, Patty. There's a waves. There they are. I might be a little bit behind. Keep moving, ease into it. If you want to add a few pauses here and there, you are welcome to. Get loose. We got a full 30 seconds left on this one. There you go. Got to get waking up. Wake up. It's going to be a good day today. I think we'll have good weather today. There's a storm coming in sometime. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, so we'll be good today. Might be a good day to get outside, take a barbell outside. All right, we're going to drop down, go into some hand release push-ups. Just go at your own pace, take your time, lift those hands up, and then every time you drive them back into the ground, just make sure you reestablish some tension. Try to turn, uh, spread the floor with your hands every time to really heat those shoulders up and get them ready. Keep those abs real tight throughout the whole thing. There you go. It's probably a good day to be out in the garage. About 30 seconds left on these, so just pace yourself. Get those shoulders ready, arms ready. What's that? Right now? Oh, oh, because they're doing push-ups. I thought something was wrong with the stuff. All right, we're going to go ahead and hop up. If you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, bring it out. And we're going to go into some toe taps. So you can move around this, light toe taps. Make sure you don't kick that thing too hard. As soon as you have that near you, go ahead and get started. We'll just keep you moving. And I'll challenge you on that with the kettlebell. As long as you feel warmed up and ready, try to tap like Stephanie is, the top of that handle. So you got to get your feet up just a little bit higher. I got to get a haircut. Look at this. I can almost... I'm just going to change my hairstyle. About 20 seconds left on this one, and then we're going to go into one minute of jumping jacks. We'll just keep rolling those toe taps. Feel free to get a little dynamic with it. Dance around your bell some. Wake up some of those lateral hip stabilizers. All right, let's go right into those jumping jacks with the arms going all the way overhead. I realized I just skipped one. We'll do that one last. Looking good. Y'all look ready to rock today. It's going to be a good day. We got a lot, a lot on here today. 
several sections. I think the timing is the same all the way across. Where's my stuff at? There it is. We'll start out with some power work. Keep rolling. We got about 20 seconds on the jacks. After this, we're going to pick that bell or dumbbell up, and we'll go into some RDLs, getting a big hamstring stretch and squeezing those glutes super tight at the top. All right, let's pick up a kettlebell, pick up a dumbbell. We're going into Romanian deadlifts or RDLs with that kettlebell between the feet. So we're actually going to go two legs. Just crank them out. Yeah, so two hands on the kettlebell. There we go. So you should keep that back nice and flat. Shoulder blades pulled back. Big stretch in the hamstrings as you go through this. Feel free to hang down there a little bit if you want to to open that up some. Go about 30 seconds longer. Camera right here. Good work, folks. Good work. We get about 20 seconds more, 20 seconds longer. All right, we're going to move into our workout. So go ahead and gather around the screen. Make sure you can see it. Or this, you can see Stephanie, because we're going to do a movement that's like relatively new. We haven't done a ton of times. Um, it's our lateral lunge to clean. And we'll do this on the right. We'll do it on the left. So she's going to lunge out with one leg and that kettlebell go with her. So we're going to actually bring that bell up as you come back in. So she's holding it. She's going to pop up, bring that bell in. So that forces her to have to explode with that lead leg and bring that bell up and keep it close to the body. If you have a heavy kettlebell here, you won't get a ton of reps within the 30 seconds that we're going to do this. If you've got a lighter one, we do want you to push the pace on that. So that should get your heart rate up if you've got a lighter weight. Um, if you've got a heavy one, just take your time. Try to crank out three to six reps. So we'll do that 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to do the right side. Then we'll do the left side. Then we're going to go into what I typed wrong here. I see it says ploy push-up. We're going to do some plyo push-ups. And remember, you can do these on with the uh, feet off the ground or with the knees down, but the goal is to drop down, explode up so much that you slightly come off the ground and then you catch yourself with control. So you might not get a ton of those either. Feel free to pace yourself on those. Focus on each individual rep and the quality of that individual rep. Um, let me hit that back up here. So 30 seconds there, then we're going into our American swings. Remember on this, you bend those elbows on the way up, keep the kettlebell close to the body. And again, just like the last three, explode every rep. So we got to pop on that. So we got four movements. We're going to go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off or resting. We're going to go through that three times. So if anybody needs any modifications on that at all, please toss them in the comments section. And I'll make sure we got you taken care of. So everybody got what they need. We got the kettlebells. You got the space. I'm going to get this clock ready to go. Crank the music up a little bit more. And get ready. Three, two, one. So we're going to step out to the right and then clean that kettlebell up to the chest. And every time you do that, we want you to push off the ground hard with that right leg. That's it. Go down deep enough to where that bell or dumbbell will probably just about touch the floor every time. Everybody's looking good. I don't see anybody turning or twisting. You're keeping that chest forward. That's very, very important. And rest. Good job. So just take a break. We got 15 seconds and we'll roll to the left side. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it now. Every rep, high quality and explosive. Push off that ground. Feel free to breathe loudly when you do this or grunt a little bit. There you go, Patty Kane. Good job. 
Got it, Allens. Explode up. We got five seconds left. It's a good pace, Stephanie White. Keep going. All right, rest. Stephanie did two of these workouts yesterday. Feeling fresh today. All right, plyo, push-ups. So on this, if, if catching yourself kind of hard bothers you, just go ahead and sink all the way down to the floor in between reps. So let's get it going. Explode up. And if your hands don't want to come off the floor, that's absolutely fine. Just try to come up as fast as possible. But you got to maintain good tight abs throughout. That whole midsection's tight so we don't get any sagging of the lower back. Good job. You are welcome as you catch yourself out of that jump to drop all the way down to the floor if you'd like to. All right, rest. We're going to pop up. You got about 12 seconds. We're going to those American swings. So remember, we're not letting it swing out away from us. It's really more of a snatch. Pull that thing all the way up. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, explode. So we're popping those hips as you go up. You guys are getting really good at these. Pumped about the way these look on this camera. Keep rocking. Will, I'm assuming you're killing it out there, just slightly outside of the garage. Keep rocking, buddy. Keep rocking. You too, EA. Looks like your uh, gun wall over there got stripped down to some of the Nerf guns a little bit. Rest. You need to get rid of some of the ones at my house. All right, we're going right back to those lateral cleans, stepping out to the right. And then cleaning that kettlebell up to your chest. Oh, that's the big artillery right there. Three, two, one, let's go. Explode up. Come on, push off that leg, almost like you're going to jump. There we go. There we go. Keep it up. That's smooth, Christy Meadows. Good job with the dumbbell. Yeah. Remember, it's easy to rotate on this as you come down through that spine, and we don't want to do that. So you just got to maintain that tension throughout. You got to be rigid through the middle. That's some cowbell right there. Rest. Every time I hear that, that's what it makes me think of. All right, 10 seconds. We are going to the other side. Get rid of that chat there. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. Big, wide step. Getting those inner thighs involved in some of our power work. Yeah, 10 seconds. That's it. Good work. Good work. Keep going. All right. Take a break. So we're going to get ready for those plyo push-ups. And three, two, one, let's go. Come on, we got this. Remember, you can pace yourself on this. You don't have to get a ton of reps. We just make every rep high quality and we explode. That's it. You can keep those hands connected to the ground. We don't have to come all the way off the ground whenever we're dropping. It's not a hand release. There's a, uh, they do come up at the top. Rest. Good work, good work. Let's get ready for those swings and get that heart rate back up. All right. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Good swings, Patty Kane. I'm digging it. Keep rocking. Yeah, Kyle, you got it, buddy. Fifteen seconds. Everybody's looking smooth and explosive on these. That's what we want. Keep it up. And rest. All right, we got one more time going through this circuit. So get ready. Going back to that lateral lunge to clean on the right. You got about six seconds. Three, two, one, let's go.
20 seconds. You got it. You got it. Keep it up. As many as you can. Last set, best set on these. Come on now. Come on now. Keep it up. Keep it up. You got this. Rest. Good job. Got 10 seconds left. Then we're going to roll into it. All right. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Other leg going to the left. Remember, every time you push off, we push off with purpose. Explode up, even on the last set. Good stuff. Good stuff, folks. Keep rocking. Come on, five seconds. Get a few more. All right, rest. Good job. Good job. Good job. Let's get ready. Final set of those plyo push ups. In three, two, one, let's go. Good work, good work, good work. Explode up. And just control yourself on that landing. Feel free to drop all the way back down to the floor on your landing. Just make sure we are coming all the way up. 10 seconds. Got this, folks. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, last set of American Swings, and we'll take a little bit of a break. So make sure you push hard on this. Let's earn that rest. Five seconds. Get ready. All right, let's go, let's go. Silver dollar. 14 seconds. Keep pushing. Like, I would be scared to have that. Like, ugh. come on, five seconds left. Keep rocking. You got this. Couple more. You got time for two more. All right, rest. Good work. Give you about a full minute just to take a break, and we will get into explaining this next part to you at about 30 seconds in. I'll go ahead and get it up on the screen. You will need a resistance band. For this, or uh, a dumbbell, or some dumbbells, if you don't have any dumbbells, you could do uh, all of these with a kettlebell as well. So we'll give you, we'll give you a bunch of demonstrations. Let me see. I know Chrissy, we got dumbbells. Alan's got some kettlebells and some bands. Kyle, do you have a band? All right, cool. Kyle's got that band. Patty's, you got some dumbbells, right? You'll be able to rock pretty much all these with those dumbbells. So we'll demonstrate some with a dumbbell too. Uh, All right, let's get ready. So next part of the workout, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you would just hold it in two hands and mimic what, uh, okay, yeah, cool, you can go ahead and grab that, and then raise it out in front. So thumbs are up. We're going to be in this exact, and then you go just a shoulder height. You don't need to go any higher from this position. Then we're going to have the same thing with a band, same position with the hands. So she's going to step on one strand, and it's up to you how far you want to choke up on this, but if, if my memory serves me correctly, these get pretty tough pretty fast. So you don't necessarily need to choke up. Um, so you stand on it, thumbs up position, and then pull upwards. And again, we're going to go 30 seconds and 15 seconds of rest in between. Oh, that's going to be a good one, Kyle. All right. After that one, um, if you have a bed sheet, this is the one nobody has a bed sheet, so we're not going to talk about that. Um, Kyle, you can use those ropes where you do that inverted version of a row. If not, you can stand on that band. So, Patty, you'll do bent over row with your two dumbbells. Everybody else, we want to get you to stand on both strands of your band like you see Stephanie. 
and that gives you some handles to pull on. So she's got her hands inside, and then she's bent over at about 90 degrees from the hips, and she's pulling up and squeezing. Um, if, if you're not, you can always, if, if it's too easy, depending on what band you have, you can always just grab both strands in your hand and slide your hands down on the band as if you're choking up on it. You don't necessarily have to say, so yeah, that's what Stephanie's doing right now. Sometimes that's more comfortable too, but you can definitely get some more resistance that way. So we're going to hit those up uh, for 30 seconds. And then we got our band high pulls. So you're going to stand on one strand again, because this is another one that will sneak up on you pretty quickly. And we're going to pull up with the elbows leading the way. So we end with the elbows higher than the hands every single time on this. That's important. We don't want to crank, like we don't want to come up with the wrists leading the way and have the elbows drop down. So the wrists are like kind of sitting there like a, like a puppy laying on its back. I just thought of that because my puppy was laying like that last night. Um, then we'll go to our good old uh, banded overhead tricep extensions. So you slide that heel in. Grab the band with both hands, bring it up behind. And again, you could do this with a one kettlebell or one dumbbell. Patty, you could do it with two. Yeah, you can do it just like that too. And we'll rock those out. Big, hard, purposeful squeeze on those triceps at the top. So that's what we got. We're going to do some upper body strength work. And then after this, we got a little bit of core work and conditioning we're going to roll into. So go ahead and have your band ready or your dumbbells or kettlebell. If anybody needs any modifications on that, toss them in those comments. I will make sure I get to it. Otherwise, we're going to get this clock ready. Let's get some, uh, some strength training going. Three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to play around with some tempo on some of these movements with these bands as well. Right now, let's just focus on that front raise, raising up, and then coming right back down like two seconds up, two seconds down. So don't let that band just yank you down. You got to fight against it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Got them delts popping. Five seconds left. And rest. So we got 15 seconds to get set up for that bent over row. So everybody's going to there you go. You step, remember, you step on both strands of your band. You can hold the handles or you can slide your hands down. And three, two, one, go. Kyle, I'm digging how low you are on those ropes, man. That's what we want to go for right there. That's exactly what we're going for. It's how we get creative and use what we got. Remember, if you got the bands, pull up, squeeze between those shoulder blades. About six seconds left. Keep rocking. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. All right, we are going to roll into our banded high pull. Get ready to go. So you're going to step on one strand. Remember, elbows are up higher than the wrists. All right, let's go, let's go. I got this. About 18 seconds. Come on, crank them out. How many of these can you get? Crank on them. Five seconds. All right, take a break. Let's get ready for those overhead tricep extensions. Five seconds left. And let's go. Heck yeah, folks. 25 seconds. Everybody's looking solid. Good tight core. Pressing up, squeezing those triceps super tight. All right, rest. So we're gonna go right back to the top. Banded front raise. And three, two, one, let's go. All 
Come on, 20 seconds left. You got this. Crank them out. All right, last 15. Bring it up and hold at the top if you can. Hold it at the top. You got 10 seconds left on that. Keep it up. Keep it up. Three seconds. And rest. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, we're getting ready for those bent over rows. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Got five seconds left, keep pushing, or keep pulling. Big shoulder blade squeeze. All right, rest. We're gonna get set up for those banded high pulls. Step on it, pull up, elbows leading the way. We got this. In three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds left. Remember, elbows lead the way a little bit higher than the wrist the whole time. Come on, get a couple more, a couple more. I know it's burning. All right, rest. Good work. So we're going to get ready for our overhead tricep extension. It's game day, folks. Game day. The shoulders are going to be feeling good. Arms looking good. Summertime's coming no matter what. Three, two, one. Let's go. seconds keep it up almost there three two one all right last time through going back into our banded front raise last time through we're 30 seconds on 10 seconds off 15 seconds off excuse me all right get ready three Two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna get ready for our rows. Whether you got a set of ropes hanging or you got bands we're gonna step on. Three, two, one. Let's get it, folks. Let's get it. Come on now. Come on, crank them out. Crank them out. Crank them out. All right, every rep, three seconds down now. So pull it up, come down slow. Pull it up, come down slow. That's it, five seconds left. All right, rest. Let's get ready for that banded high pull. Sometimes a kettlebell can be a little more shoulder friendly on these, depending on how it feels. All right, let's go. Lead with those elbows. Oh, Stephanie's widening hers out a little bit. She might've gotten some more resistance out of that. We got it. There you go, Kyle. That's it, buddy. Good pulls, Christy. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go, rest. All right, so last one, banded overhead tricep extension. Gonna step on it, pull it up behind you. We're gonna crank, 
So we're going to want you to get as many as you can, as fast as you can on the first 15 seconds. Then we'll get our slow reps in. Go. Crank them out. Last set. Stephanie said this is her favorite overhead exercise. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds. As many as you can. Then we're going to get some slow negatives on this. All right, now go all the way up and hold. Come down three seconds every time. Up fast. Come down three seconds every time. So we're going to a little more time under tension. Come on. Keep it up. Get a couple more. A couple more. Rest. Good job. Take a break. We got our core and conditioning coming up for this next part. Ideally, everybody needs some room to be able to do some side shuffling for about 30 seconds each way. I think everybody's got a little bit of space. Yes, yes. If you have a jump rope, feel free to get that jump rope ready as well. We're going to give you – Stephanie's going to do something different besides jump rope. Remember, we've always got our penguin hops. You know, putting all the Nerf guns back up. I swear, man, we started out with our – ours is like – it was super organized and like looked like a professional gun wall or whatever, and then now it's just crap hanging all over it everywhere. All right, so next part of the workout, we want you to push the pace on this stuff. On the, uh, it's, it's kind of bookended with cardio, and then it's core in the middle. So first one is just a fast. We, the way we have this written in Train Heroic is a quarter squat side shuffle. What we really mean there is what Stephanie just did. So she, she did a quarter squat, but she's staying in a low athletic position. So most people tend to move faster from this, and this is going to challenge your hips a lot more, and you notice she's really pushing the pace. So we're not just standing up and kind of lazily just going through a side shuffle and swinging our arms around. We want to do this with purpose and try to treat it like a sprint, but going sideways. So just make sure you got space for that. And then after that, we're going to lay down. If you have a my zone belt, you can twist it around sideways if somewhat, if you need to on this. Um, it'll usually still maintain a good connection. Um, we're going to do those Superman for 30 seconds there. Feel free to get a good like one to two second pause if you can uh, on that each time. Then we're going to flip over, go into star sit-ups. This is where those legs go out wide, arms out wide. She's going to come up, reach across, and grab that toe. There you go, right there. So we're going to go 30 seconds on that. Then you can hop up. Stephanie is going to do uh, regular kettlebell swings right here, um, just because it's a little bit uh, gentler than the hopping is. Otherwise, we do have written in jump rope, so just regular single unders on your jump rope, or you've got those penguin hops. Remember where you uh, lightly hop up and tap those thighs. And remember, I'm going to challenge you on that to jump higher and get that double every time, just like you're doing a double under with a jump rope. You'll find that that hits that heart rate up quite a bit more. So you got options there. We're going to keep this the same timing format as it's been, so 30 seconds of awesomeness, 15 seconds of okayness with rest, and we're going to get into it. So make sure you are ready to side shuffle because we're going to go here in 10 seconds. You got to push. You got to push on these. This isn't just our warm-up side shuffles. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Side shuffle it up. As many as you can, as fast as you can. 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go now. 18 seconds. We got this. We got this. 13 seconds. Let's go. Come on now. As fast as you can. If we do this right, we can get that heart rate up. Come on. Come on. All right. Rest. We're going to lay down. Get ready for that Superman. Again, usually you can turn that belt to the left just slightly if you got a my zone belt on and you feel like it gets in the way. You can leave it there the whole time and it should keep picking up. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lift up and squeeze. So when you do this, don't just move from your back. Squeeze those glutes real tight every time you lift up. A little bit of a hold. If you're breathing hard, these can be pretty tough because I know your breathing's a little bit restricted on this. Five seconds left. Keep pushing. Oh, getting some love from the puppy. Rest. 
All right, we're going to uh, roll over to your back. Get those star sit-ups coming across the body, reaching for those toes. Now, if you can get your whole upper body and both arms off the ground each time, I'm going to challenge you to do that. Let's go. Go, 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 go. There you go, Kyle. That's it, buddy. All the way up, full sit-up, both arms coming off the ground if you can. There we go. I see the Allen's heads popping up every second or so. Looking good. There you go, Chrissy. I thought the dog was copying you there for a second. He's kind of laying there moving a little bit. He or she, let's see. He it looks like a he. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. Five seconds, as many as you can. All right, rest. Let's pop up. Get ready for your jump rope, penguin hops, or you can swing. Three, two, one. Game day. Let's get it. There's those penguin hops. I'm digging it. Keep it hopping. Keep it hopping. You got it. It's all about rhythm. Trying to tap those thighs as you come off the ground. Remember, the hands don't go very far away from your hips. You just keep them real close. It's just a wrist movement, a lot like a jump rope. Good job. Good job. Three seconds left. Rest. All right, going back to our side shuffles in three, two, one, let's go. That's it, that's it, keep pushing. Good job, good job. Come on, fast side shuffle. It helps you. You can always lean down and touch the ground as you get to each ending point, like basketball practice or volleyball practice, maybe soccer or football. Rest. 15 seconds, dropping down to those Supermans. Three, two, one, let's go. There we go. 10 seconds. You got it. You got it. Keep it up. Come on now. Come on now. Get up. Get up. Get up. You got it. All right. Rest. Flip over. Let's get ready for those star sit-ups. In three, two, one. Go, 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 go. About 15 seconds left, 15 seconds. You got it, you got it, keep going. Rest, good job folks, let's hop up. Get ready for those penguin hops or jump rope. In three, two, one, here we go. So we got Stephanie rocking those swings. Looks like we got everybody else doing the penguin hops. Oh, got a little bit of a little bit of jump rope action without a jump rope. I'm digging it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Got to land smooth. 15 seconds left. Rest. Good job. All right, moving into our side shuffles, going back into it. Three, two, one, let's go. Push that pace, come on now. This is your last one today. We're only going through this three times. 
Go fast, go hard. 15 seconds left. Come on, come on, eight seconds, we're not done. Push the pace, push the pace, let's go. We're on defense right now, you gotta guard. Rest, good job, good job. All right, get ready for that last set of Superman. And three, two, one, here we go. Eighteen seconds. As many as you can get with good control. Hard glute squeeze at the top. <clears throat> I said four, three, two. Get one more. Okay, rest. Max reps on star sit-ups. Here we go. It's a pretty sunrise outside. Pink orange sky. Three, two, one, let's get it. Looking good, everybody. Keep that pace up. It's something you can maintain the whole time. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds now. Keep it up. Good job. Take a break. All right. Going to get back up. Last set on those penguin hops. Woo. Hop up. Hop up. We're stretching after this. You're ready. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Keep it up. 20 seconds left. Yeah, let's get 10 seconds, as many as possible. Come on now. All right, rest, go ahead and have a seat. Grab your water if you need it. We're gonna stretch out. Good work today. We're gonna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. So just hang with me on these. We got um, about three stretches we're gonna go through, but a couple different versions of each. So we'll start with our butterfly stretch. As you see, Stephanie, bring the bottoms of those two feet together, pull the feet in, and try to drive your knees downward. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We'll get about 15 seconds longer on that one. Make sure you are feeling a stretch on those inner thighs here. Off the screen, and we're gonna go take those legs out wide. Let's go into a pancake stretch, and we'll start out reaching to the left to try to grab the shoes on the left. All right, let's walk it to the other side. Keep holding, go about 10 seconds longer on this one. All right, let's go to the middle. All right, we're gonna go to your knees and reach underneath as far as you can and drive that shoulder to the floor and then try to pull that shoulder away from that hand. So you should feel a big pull in the back of the shoulder. Yeah.
All right, go ahead and switch arms. Keep holding, go about 15 seconds more on this side. All right, that concludes your session for today. Great job, everybody.